You begin with the crash in New Jersey that killed three people and has been impacting traffic for much of the day. This is on Route 1 in South Brunswick, and it is going to be hours before the road is reopened. CBS 2's Nick Calloway live at the scene with the latest for us. Nick. Well, Marisa Christine, the fire is out, but the mangled wreckage of that horrible crash is still on the highway behind me. If you look over there, uh, the, the, the crash actually happened in that intersection. A big rig hit a sprinter van in that intersection, and the momentum carried the two vehicles several hundred feet that way, where they both caught on fire. Burned out wreckage sat on Route 1 all day Friday. A tragic reminder of the horrific crash this morning. The big rig with the oversized load hit the Sprinter van around 9.30 a.m. on Route 1 and Ridge Road in South Brunswick, not far from Princeton. Once the fire was put out, it was determined that there's three people in the Sprinter van. All three of those people uh, perished in the uh, crash. The Sprinter van was owned and operated by Community Options, a Princeton-based organization that provides day programs for people with severe disabilities. The driver, an employee of Community Options, and two people with disabilities were killed. Police say the driver of the truck was taken to a nearby hospital with minor injuries. Before the scene could be cleared, heavy machinery will be brought in to move that large slab to another truck. Then we'll be able to separate the vehicles. We'll be able to get the medical examiners office in there. We'll be able to get more traffic investigators to piece together some of those parts. We have to offload the fuel from the truck. Um, and then when it's finally removed, we have to repave the road. The fire and the truck is embedded into the road. And if uh, you can see some of this heavy machinery just arrived on scene uh, about a minute ago to remove some of that oversized load and put it onto another truck so that the investigation can continue. I'm told it'll be at least 9 o'clock tonight before Route 1 can reopen. We are live in South Brunswick, New Jersey. Nick Calloway, CBS 2 News. Okay, Nick, thank you. And as Nick said, it's going to be a while before the road is reopened. Police say drivers in that area should take the turnpike or Route 130 as alternates. And we will post any updates on our website, cbsnewyork.com.